Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF Today, God is First. Today's message is entitled, Thirsting After God. 2 Kings 2.9 says, Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit. The first requirement to move in greater power and authority in God is to hunger for it. Yet even this hunger is born from God. Elisha hungered after God. Elisha saw many miracles as Elijah's servant, but he wanted more. He wanted a double portion of Elijah's spirit. And when he asked Elijah for this, the prophet responded, You have asked a difficult thing. It wasn't because it couldn't be granted. Elijah knew that with great anointing came a great weight of responsibility and difficulty. Second, humility comes before honor. Elisha was known as the servant of Elijah. How would you like to be known as the servant of John? Your name is not even mentioned. This was the preparation of Elisha. It has been the preparation of many men of God. Consider Joseph, the servant of Pharaoh. Consider David, the servant of Saul. Third, Elisha committed himself totally to his calling. The scripture says when Elisha was called to join Elijah, the younger man left his farm business completely. He slaughtered his oxen and had a great feast for the community. It was all or nothing. He could not fall back on his farm trade if his new venture didn't work. This demonstrates Elijah's pioneer spirit in stepping out, not knowing what was ahead. Do you want greater anointing in God? You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, it says in Jeremiah 29:13. Begin thirsting for God's anointing in your heart today. This is the starting place. I remember when I uh, was first introduced to a mentor of mine, And the reason I sought him out was that he knew some answers that I didn't know. And I began this journey with him as uh, a, he was my mentor and spiritual father in the marketplace movement. I would go anywhere in the country, even in the world, just to spend a little time with him because I knew he would make a deposit in my life. Do you have a mentor in your life? If not, I encourage you to find one because Uh, Mentors can help you avoid the mistakes that many of us have made. And that's a great blessing to have such a person in your life. Father, I ask for a mentor to come into the life of whoever is listening today so that they might be able to receive the wisdom and the maturity of those who've gone before us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.